What's up guys, this is Technocube and you are watching Mobile Computing Fundamental. Well, in the previous session we had seen different propagation modes in mobile computing. In this session we are going to understand analog and digital signal. Okay, so I will precisely write it down here. We are going to understand analog signals. Okay, so what do you mean by analog signals? It is something like your signal is traveling <coughs> signals travel from point a to point b then that then the traveling or when it passes it passes through infinite number of levels okay so it passes through infinite number of levels by means of that what I mean to say is if I have a graph here then if I have the graph then it, it is having something like this this is your sinusoidal waves these are this doesn't look actual but yeah these are the sinusoidal waves okay so this is your level 1 here this is your level 2 this is your level 3 this is your level 4 and so and so forth until the point B so I have the infinite number of levels. So these are the levels. Okay, you're getting the things now to generate this kind of, you know, the sinusoidal wave, I need a continuous wave or a continuous number. Okay, because as it is the continuous wave, I need a continuous number. By means of continuous number, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. Okay, so these are your continuous numbers. Now, if I talk about digital signals, this is your digital signal. Now, digital signals actually, it looks something like this. Let me give you a graphical representation. And you in, in your elementary school, I think you had seen many a times. So, this is your digital signal. It is in the form of 0101. So, here it is level 1, this is level 2, this is level 3 and so on and so forth. But the difference here is it passes through, the signal is, the signal, it passes through a finite number of levels. That's the difference, finite number of levels. Another thing is to generate this graph, I don't need the continuous wave, but instead I need a non-continuous, I need a non-continuous number or non-continuous wave, okay? Uh, and we also call it as discrete states. So for an example, we have 0, then a gap of 2, 4, a gap of 2, gap of 2, then 6, then 8 and so on and so forth till point B it is in the form of finite numbers but this in, this is in the form of infinite numbers I hope you getting it okay so now the next thing is we gonna understand is both these both analog and digital both analog and digital it possess two forms one is known as periodic form and the other one is non-periodic. You getting it? So we have a periodic form and a non-periodic form. So these signals can be, can be of periodic form and the non-periodic form. So let me give you a periodic form representation here. It, it, it says as it completes it completes a it completes a full pattern within a measurable time period within a measurable time frame okay after after completing that pattern it repeats okay so it completes a full pattern within a measurable time frame again it repeats the pattern and it repeats the 
fat gain. So this is your uh, periodic form. Now when I when I talk about non periodic form, actually the thing is the difference is it doesn't it it doesn't repeat the pattern okay it doesn't repeat the pattern after a measurable time frame so here in the in the periodic it looks something like this so if this is the signal if this is the first if this is the first point and this is the second i mean the ending point then again it starts from here and the same cycle is going to be repeated here can you see this so this is the first cycle this is the second cycle i'll precisely write it down this is the first cycle as it completes the complete pattern this is the second cycle okay and this is the graph now here in the non periodic form actually i can i don't know how to draw it but it doesn't repeat the pattern so it can be like this but then it's something like this and then again this so it is not repeating the pattern you can see so this is the graph so again this is this is this is actually i can write it down this is the first cycle here as it completes the thing but here there is no cycle you can see this is one and only so this is the gra graph of non periodic form now apart from that you need to understand that here if i have a periodic analog signal if i have a periodic analog signals then these they are of two type one is known as simple form or the uh, simple let me let me write now the simple form or the simple signal or it is in the form of composite so by means of simple let me write it down or let me draw it down here simple it is it looks something like this a simple sine wave but now when i talk about composite form it looks something like this then again a, 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 a sine wave here again there is a sine wave which is repeating the pattern here again there is a sine wave and you can see so and so forth right so this is a composite form and this is the simple form now keep that in mind that in real time in computer network or in mobile computing we use composite forms we never use simple form why the reason is simple as this simple sine wave because we have only single sine wave so let me also write it down this is a single sine wave this is a single sine wave here the sine waves are multiple so this is multiple sine wave okay now as this is only one single sine wave it carries a very little information carry little information which is not desirable which which i don't want it right i need heavy information to carry from one end to another end but because we have here multiple sine waves there is there is a possibility or not possibility there is there is definitely it will carry the high information or more information it carry so it carry more information definitely because of this more information it carries more information carries there is higher capacity of user and that's why we use composite forms you getting this thing okay so the next thing we need to understand is signal character characterizing or you can say signal characteristic there are three signal characteristic that you need to understand so signal characterization signal characterization and i will precisely write it down here that we need to understand what do you mean by amplitude and what do you mean by time or period 
and you need to also understand something called as phase okay so these are the three characterization that you need to understand and also keep that in mind that by means to understand time period then we are also understanding the frequency because they are very relevant or relative to each other now let's understand the amplitude here so if i change the color here and then let's understand the amplitude so let me write it down amplitude so the amplitude is basically absolute value it is absolute value of its highest intensity absolute value of its highest intensity okay so it is proportional it is highest intensity and proportional to the energy it carries so i will write it down here proportional proportional to the energy it carries in the graph you can see this amplitude in the form of like this so i if i have this graph here then you had seen that if i have a sine wave here then this particular axis is going to be your amplitude okay and this particular axis is going to be your time so this is a graph of amplitude versus time graph okay and then you can see this point to this point is again your amplitude so this representation is your amplitude so we have high amplitude and low amplitude that means if i have a graph like this and if a peak is like this then this is this representation is your low amplitude but then if i have a peak like this then this is going to be your high amplitude okay you're getting this so this is the amplitude again the sign or the unit of this is going to be volt which is important so if an equation comes up then you need to write down the si unit of that so this is the amplitude now let's understand something called as time or fre frequency or the period whatever you want to say it okay so if i have here i write it down this is my period versus frequency so let's understand period versus frequencies or time okay so it refers it refers to the it refers to the amount of of time in seconds okay so it refers to the amount of time in seconds so here it also needs to understand that signals need to complete need to complete one pattern in one cycle or in one time frame which is nothing but your time so your time here let me again change the color your time here your time here it is inversely proportional to frequency so t equals to 1 by f or you can also write it down f equals to 1 by t as they are inversely proportional to each other we we, we do something like that okay and the time si unit is going to be second however frequency is going to be with hertz these are also very important to remember okay so this is your this is your period and frequency you understand now the next phase we need to understand is uh, actually the, the next thing we need to understand is phase but before that we need to understand one more representation of time and frequency let's understand that first <laughs> 